Hey everybody, we're back at it. Uh, we've been hitting a lot of short runs. So we've been getting in some good speed work and different interval work, uh, which has helped a lot. Uh, it's definitely building some muscle and helping us get a lot faster. Today we're getting back to some of the long runs that we've been skipping out on lately. Uh, we've definitely been missing that in the running diet. So we're, we're out here in the National Forest and we're gonna hit a, uh, you've probably heard me mention it before, we have a nice uh, 10 mile uh, gravel road loop. up in the, the National Forest. That's what we'll be hitting today, trying to knock out a nice double digit run. So that's kind of long for what we've been doing lately. We've only at most been hitting somewhere between five and seven miles. So this will push us just a little bit, uh, but the weather's great. Nice breeze today up in the forest and the temperatures aren't too bad. I think we'll be getting into some lower 70s. So it's not, not horribly hot today. So yeah. good stuff. Ready to go? Yep. Let's do it. So this first section of loop that we'll hit uh, goes all the way up to the highest point uh, of the loop. So it'll be the one of the more difficult sections. So a lot of people start here and kind of go up this section first. So it'll be a good bit of elevation here in the first, I don't know, three or four miles. But uh, that's what we're here for, to get better, challenge ourselves. And have some fun while we do it. We've had a pretty good controlled burn campaign going lately. And this is one of the sections that have recently been cleared off by burning. Helps control the undergrowth so there aren't big huge forest fires. So we're coming up to the Penote Trail now. We'll cross it a couple times on this loop. And this is the first one. We made it to the first split. We're gonna stay left and head on around the loop. This road heads down the, the mountain to the Shoal Creek Ranger Station. So this is the last time before we get to the fire tower. We're just about three miles in. And this is tough. Now that we made it up and over the top, passing the fire tower, we're gonna head by another cut in on the circle. This one goes down to Hufflin and by the Cahulga Creek Park. You've probably seen some of our, or one of our recent videos about uh, working on cleaning up a trail or at least finding the trail. We're all, we're kind of currently working on cleaning up the trail down at Cahuga Creek Park. You should see that one pretty soon. May try to put that initial video in our screen if we can, but you can click on that and uh, come along with us on that journey while we're at it. Now we get to enjoy a great downhill section of the loop, but you still have to be a little bit aware or your feet can get away from you on this gravel. Uh, it's pretty steep and some of the gravel is pretty loose so you have to be aware of what you're doing we're about 4.3 miles in we've enjoyed the little bit easier section some good downhills there but if you've guessed it we're about to head back up so this is going to be another hard section so we're going to have to put it in granny gear Let's hide our way up this one. How are you doing so far, T? Doing well. I think you got something in my eye, though. Oh, no. I'll have to check on that.
we've made it over what we think is the next climbing section back to another good downhill section we're just about five miles in yeah. should be hearing that beep just any moment there's a hill which means we will be halfway through the loop yeah there's a hill to celebrate yeah it's a tiny one though we have a good good downhill section here a little bitty bump in the road up here but mostly all downhill right here and we're enjoying it my calves are definitely starting to feel it at this point from all the elevation five miles in and headed downhill Here's one of the many beautiful creeks down here. Unfortunately, that means we're at a low point, <laughs> which you guessed it, means we're heading up. Well, we're making our way into the last road intersection of the loop before we head back to the, the Jeep sway heads over towards Georgia through the woods if you head north it'll take you up to some good camping areas like Pine Glen and Coleman Lake we're gonna head up the hill of course on 531 on around the loop so here we go so I think we're over all those hills Seven, just over seven and a half miles in this next section is the fastest fastest downhill section on the course so uh, hopefully we'll be able to rip the next mile mile and a half and have a little fun we'll see how it goes on these tired legs though double digit day like the bridge is flooded. I've never seen water up on top like that before. Coming over to the last hill. So now it'll just be a short downhill to the finish. And we will have 10 miles in the book. Good job, T. Boom. Boom. That hurt. And there's an ultra coming up really soon and we're thinking about doing it. And they actually use this loop along with the, the Frog Pond 10K to make a nice little, little loop up there. And I think they have several different uh, lengths to run. I'll put a link in the description down below if you're interested in doing an ultra this summer. 
think it's in August, maybe August 12th. I think we can turn around. But it uh, should be a, a good ultra for you to check out. Come check out the, in the heat of the night. So we wrapped up on our 10 mile run. It took us about, oh, hour and 43 minutes to, to get through that, which is pretty good for that elevation. I'm not complaining for sure. Uh, it's been a while since we've done double digits. So it's a super good first long run. We're gonna start pushing those in the, the coming weeks. Uh, start getting tea ready for some, some cross country season. We've definitely been keeping up the speed work, so that's good. But definitely super proud of what we were able to do today. Boom! Yay, it's over. It's over. We've got that done. We have some fun things to do this evening. So we're gonna get out of here. Make sure you go enjoy your weekend. Uh, do a long run, get after it, maybe play a round of golf, do something fun. But whatever you do, try to challenge yourself a little bit. Push yourself a little bit farther than you're used to going. Get off the couch, do something in the real world rather than just on a video game or watching somebody else do it on the TV. Get after it and go run to win.